The top 10 Visual Studio Code extensions you must download and use today. All of the extensions I go over today will be down below in the description so you guys can download them for yourself. Now I have Visual Studio Code open. I'm gonna navigate over to extensions and let's go ahead and start off with number 10. And that one's gonna be ES Lint. This is gonna be extremely useful if you're gonna be using JavaScript and TypeScript. This is gonna help you debug and fix any problems a lot quicker that you might have when using JavaScript and TypeScript. Number nine is gonna be prettier, and all this is gonna do is make your code look a lot neater and a lot easier to read when you or maybe someone else is helping you develop and it needs to be easy to read and you can look at it clearly. This one is gonna set up everything a lot better for you and make the development process much easier because you won't have to worry about formatting as much. Number eight is gonna be the REST client. REST client is gonna let you send HTTP requests and view the response directly in Visual Studio Code so you won't have to use some third party like Postman and go back and forth between your code editor and making requests. You can do it all within VS Code. And the best thing about this is it also works with GraphQL. So if you guys are creating a full stack application and sending requests between your front end and back end, this is gonna make it a lot easier and a lot quicker during development. Number seven is gonna be ES7, and you wanna navigate to the one down here with a plus sign that says plus React Redux React Native Snippets. This is gonna be super useful because it's gonna provide you with a bunch of React Redux and React Native code snippets that you can use on the fly during development so you don't have to remember as much and this will give you plenty of examples that you can use on one click. Number six is going to be icon fonts and this is just going to help you use font awesome icons much faster. It will help you auto complete and give you a list of all the icons while you're developing instead of having to go back between your code editor and fontawesome.com to pick what you want. Number five is gonna be CSS Peak, and this is gonna be extremely useful if you're styling using CSS because it's gonna allow you to see all of the styling on the HTML page by simply using control and hovering over classes or IDs. So you don't have to go back and forth between HTML and CSS pages because you can see it all within your HTML pages. Number four is gonna be Code Runner, and this is gonna allow you to run code or lines of code in a ton of different languages, as you guys can see here. This will work with PHP, Python, Ruby, and a bunch of other well-known and used languages that you might need to run code on. And this makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker during development. Number three is gonna be auto rename tag. And this is gonna be extremely useful for HTML elements or XML tags, because if you change the starting tag of an HTML element, it's also gonna change the ending. So this is gonna prevent a ton of errors in case you forget to edit one of the tags. It'll automatically do it whether you edit the front or the back of the tag. Number two is gonna be your live server. And there's a few options that you have when it comes to live server. The one I like the best is gonna be this one here that says live server parentheses five server. This one has worked much better for me personally when I'm developing than this version up here. So this is going to have to be the one I recommend, but this is going to let you go down and hit go live, open your local host and see all of the changes that you make on your code editor side in real time within your browser, which makes developing much easier because you don't have to constantly refresh and save because it does it all automatically for you on the fly. Moving on to number one, this is actually gonna be two extensions that work together hand in hand, and this is gonna be essential if you guys are programming using Python. And these two are simply going to be the Python extension here, which is going to provide 
support for developing with Python in Visual Studio Code and the Python debugger here all by Microsoft. And this one's gonna allow you to debug issues and find what the problem is with your code a lot quicker than if you didn't have it. Lastly, I wanna bring up an honorable mention that you guys might be surprised that I did not include in this list, and that's gonna be GitHub Copilot. And the reason I didn't wanna include that is because you basically have to pay for this or you have to set up some kind of student account and there's a lot of hoops and stuff you have to run through. So this one's extremely useful, but I didn't wanna put it in the list simply because you have to pay for it. If you guys disagree with my list, let me know down below in the comments. I will respond to you. If you guys think I missed something here today, let me know that as well because there's always stuff I'm trying to learn and other extensions that I want to add to my list. If you guys have any questions or anything, again, reach out through the comments. If not, I hope this video helped out. Thanks so much for watching.